I and I welcome back to another Sakura Succubus 4 video. Now, we are back with another part. And let me tell you, after what we just saw with Cosmos, I'm very concerned. So, uh, we're probably just getting in through as it, uh, turns to night. So, uh, let's get right into it. It's late in night and I curl up beneath my covers, all warm and toasty. I feel exhausted after the events of the last few days, and sleep is fast beginning to encroach upon me. I turn over, yawning, and burrow my cheek against my pillow. It's nice and soft, and a little like Kafumi's thighs. I think you're gonna say that. This thought brings in a half a sweet smile to my lips. I've spent a lot of time over the last few days with my harem of succubi. We played together on the beach, set up fireworks, and I devour a lot of the homies homemade cooking. Does life get any better than this? I feel like I'm living in a dream. Trust me, you are living every, almost certain people's dreams, I'm telling you right now, my guy. Another yawn escapes from my lips. I'm just about to drift off when... Nee. So Hideki, do you care to explain yourself? What's the big idea? Excuse me? What? I bolt up, eyes wide. As a loud noise splits the silence, that thud sound like my door being pulled open with no small amount of strength or anything approaching settle. What's going on? I look wildly at my darkened bedroom Searching for the culprit behind all this. Don't sit there looking all wide-eyed and innocent. I'm not gonna feel sorry for you. You know exactly what have you done and haven't done. In case you you back up leap look leap mold what? Okay. Hey you you really need to work on your goddamn insults. That helped. And it doesn't take me long to find them. You are standing by the foot of my bed. Uh, make that looming. It's hard to pick out the feature in the dark, but I could tell that she's scowling. Her voice makes that more than apparent, as does her posture. Her hands are planted firmly on her hips, in the manner of all sculpting mothers. Not that AU is my mother, that'd be pretty weird. She's naive and the motherly type. She's nothing like it for me. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sure you have some excuses to give me, pitiful though they may be. I am a very nice, patient person. Yeah, right. So I'll let you say your piece. That doesn't mean I believe it, though. I don't think I'll ever be able to trust you again after you treated me so poorly. What? what? I hold a hand to my temple with his throbbing and wince. I use shrill high pitched voice. Feels like it's boring a hole into my skull. <sighs> Surely it's too late at night to deal with this. I don't get why AU forced her way into my room or why she's so pissed, but the fact remains that she's still pissed. Most of Was that AU? Did something happen? Yes, something happened. Something that has been happening throughout our vacation. I'm surprised you didn't notice, you dummy, blockhead moron. Okay. You might be right about some of the things, but please calm down. I don't even know why you're angry. If you just take a deep breath, don't you dare talk down to me, Hideki. Now follow me, I have a phone to pick with you. Oh, you, wait, what? I tried to protest, but uh, these fingers wind around my wrist. She pulled me out of my bed, onto my feet without ceremony used more strength than it seems to be possible for her to possess. A you so small and slender, it doesn't seem right. She should be able to overpower me so completely. I twist and turn, but I can't get her to let go. I'm trapped. Oh! I went to a use nails digging into my skin. That's smart. Damn it. Oh, jeez! Would it kill you to be gentler? I'm half asleep and I'm not dressed yet. 
And if you want to talk, we can talk. But I'd like to put on some clothes first. Oh, huh? aren't you dragging me around the house like this? Why does it matter? We've all seen you uh... That's besides the point. <laughs> She's not wrong about that, but hearing does make me feel a bit flustered. Am I really a playboy? I guess I must be, given the scope of my harem, but I've never really considered myself as such. Damn it, it's no wonder my co-workers all hate me. I know that, but I don't want to <laughs> traps around the house half naked. Let me at least throw some pants on, please. Beg you, oh great. Yeah, you show mercy upon me. I have no reason to be nice to you. Have you not been all nice to me? Do you relance her arms folded? But I suppose I should grant you this one favor. Hurry up and get dressed. When we're done, we're gonna have a talk. Yes, ma'am. I wonder what time it is. It must have passed midnight. It's black outside. Uh, save for the going stars. I don't wanna go back to bed, damn it. But I don't think you will allow it. It's been since. Side as I select a shirt from the closet and insert my arms into the pose. What's gonna happen to me now? I almost dread to think. Approximately 10 minutes later. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Mm. Ayu doesn't say anything, which is funny, given how chatty she was back in the room. She has no compulsion about yelling back then, but since she's called me outside, she's been unusually quiet. Alright, fine. That game. I fell silent myself while scanning the beach. The sky is dark blue and stars twinkle brightly above our heads. The ocean is very dark. Almost black. It's vast, almost fathomless, and it stretches out as far as the eye can see. It's almost late. All the seabirds have retreated to their cliffside nests to roost. I can't hear their familiar cries, though I can hear the soft sigh of the ocean. The breeze that caresses my cheek is lukewarm, not too hot nor too cold. It's a pleasant night, but the expression on Ayu's face is anything but. She's been sitting in silence for the past five minutes. Her arms wound her wound tightly around her leg, but her lips are pursed into a frown and her brows all puckered. She's an attractive woman. She's not Japan's top idol for nothing, but her good looks are sullied somewhat by the obvious irritation which rolls from her. Her scowl is so fierce it could curdle milk. If her legions of fans could see her like this, they'd be stunned. I wish I knew why she was so upset. It doesn't seem like she wants to speak up on her own accord, so maybe I should prompt her? Hey, hey you, uh, I can tell something's bothering you? But I can't help if you won't tell me what it is. What happened? What happened? He asks. Ayu finally pipes up her face, a mask of malcontent. Or malcontent, excuse me. You have some nerve asking that, isn't it obvious? Just how dense can you be, you dummy? Okay, she is really starting this whole Sundere thing. It's really getting annoying. That's such a weirdly specific insult. And it fits you to the T. You have the emotional awareness of it. <laughs> oh, That's just rude. In fact, I think there must be a MOBAs out there that haven't been even more tacked than you. Sometimes I... <sighs> Sometimes I think I'd rather take a sea sponge as a lover than you. And she really does sound pissed. What does she want me to say?
Okay, that's pretty harsh. I run the hand through my hair, laughing. I must have upset you pretty bad, huh? You done more than upset me, you humiliated me. Oh yeah? That sounds rough. I'm sorry if I've done anything to hurt you, but I must be stupid because I can't think what that might have been. Would you mind elaborating? It should be obvious, Hidiki. As obvious as that huge nose of your stupid face. Hey! I pressed one hand on my nose, which is not that huge. At least I'd never thought of that. Suddenly subconscious. There's nothing wrong with my nose, is there? Your nose is the least of your problems. What you really ought to be worried about is your own ignorance. Not to mention your own, well, your thoughtlessness. I can't believe I have to spell it out for you, but I guess you're as dumb as you are hearing. You think I'm in here? I wish I didn't, but I do. Everything you do annoys me, but I can't help but like you, which annoys me all the more. I've often wondered if I'm ever happy I could just forget you, but try though I might, I can't. I like you a lot, more than I ever liked anybody. You must now, but, and I want you to like me too, but this last week you've been ignoring me. You stayed a holiday, you stayed in my holiday home on my private beach. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me, but you're not all grateful. Where is this coming from? I'm grateful for your kindness very much. I've been having a really good time. I know you have. I've been watching you. You've been swimming with Cosmos and picnicking with Nofumi and Marina, but you never put in anything aside for me. I've been trying to get you along since day one, but whenever I think I'm in with a chance, one of my sisters come along and steal you away from me. I thought it'd be a coincidence at first, but it keeps happening. It's like you're actively trying to avoid me. I'm trying to be... I'm trying not to be jealous of the others. I didn't want to spoil your holiday, but this is getting too much. I can't take it anymore. Reason deeply, her chest heaving, her irises glistening, while her body quivering under the burden of her intense emotions. She looks so worked up. I think she might actually cry. Why do you keep going off with the others here? Do you like them more than me? I know I can be a brat and sometimes I can say mean things, but that doesn't mean I don't like you. I like you so, so much. I wanted us to spend more time with you on this trip like a little couple, but that's not happening. And I feel so frustrated. Upset it too. I'm oh, sorry, upset too. Are you avoiding me on purpose? Am I that unattractive? I don't get it. I'm an idol, idiot. I have thousands of thousands of fans. They jump at a chance to go on a vacation with me, but why aren't you? Don't you understand how lucky you are? I've done so much for you. Why? Aww. You. Outfit. Yep. She's so upset. She must have lost control of her magic. If you hate me, you should just come out and say it. Then I can stop popping. Hoping if you've ever returned my feelings. You made a fool out of me one too many times, and I'm tired. I'm sick of being an awful You. I soften with sympathy in my voice. Ayu has a tendency to overreact, but I think she might be right on this one. Though, in advertence, I have been neglecting her. I've spent the last five days in the company of every other succubi save succubi saved Ayu. She's been excluded almost entirely. Is it any wonder she would feel upset? It causes her a lot of pain. And as our partner, I have a responsibility to cheer her up. I wasn't avoiding you on purpose, I certainly didn't need you. There's no excuse for my negligence. I'm 
sorry if I made the wrong one. Why are there more diamonds? I'm sure they are. Every inch of you is priceless. Every hair on your head. You're not. Japan's top idol for nothing. Mm. I'm sorry, Pete. You have to like. Flattery will get you nowhere. So that doesn't forgive me. And maybe this will sway you. I cut. They use damp cheeks. Also, I love this. This is brilliant. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is a good picture. I cut a use damp cheeks with one hand and lean it. I hear first was second before my lips meet hers. They use breath. Then soft side. Oh, that's adorable. My mouth finds a. Okay, I didn't realize he was gonna go into detail with that. <laughs> God damn it! I was waiting to not do that. God damn you! All right. My mouth finds a use. Our tongue coiled together. It's a deep, passionate kiss fueled by my desire to make amends and a use own desperation. The kiss is salty with these tears, but I don't mind it. It's warm and loving, despite that. A you, for all the posturing, is a total softy. When I kiss her like this, she falls to pieces. She's melting like a marshmallow over a campfire. <laughs> a you, gasps my name against my mouth, all the while peppering me with kisses. I return her kisses, tipping her chin upon. I'm oh, sorry. I return her kisses, tipping her chin upwards with one hand. These tail twitches while we kiss over and over. I wonder if that's a sign of her excitement. Her. <laughs> her ragged breathing and her flushed face certainly. These <laughs> mm. eyes are glassy when I pull away, like one who awakened from a dream. She looks almost drunk from my affection. Her cheek is still damp. She blinks, dislodging a few more tears from her eyelashes. And I touch. That will never do. I was hoping to dry your tears. I was hoping to dry your tears. I wouldn't want your makeup to run. You know how much effort you put into your appearance. I don't want you ruining it for a guy like me. It's not really worth it. Yes, you are. The you counters demandly. Her lips pulled into a scowl. In all Japan, no, in all the world, no human has deserving of my affection is you. Don't be self-deprecating. It's not an attractive quality in a man, and it's insulting to me, too. I, w I won't have you questioning my tastes. But you always ask why you like me so much. That's different. I'm allowed you're not. I won't let you slander yourself. That's not fair. You stab me in the chest with one finger to further puncture the point while I laugh. All right, all right, I'll stop being so belittling. When once if it, it's too late. You offend me all the time anyway. Eh, you didn't seem to mind when I kissed you though. No, nope, well, that... Do you glance away, her face beat red. But that's fine, I guess. Only fine? I raise an eyebrow. For someone that was fine, you surely were sighing a lot. You were pretty into it. It's not like I wanted to kiss you or anything. I want you to kiss me or anything. God damn it. <laughs> you say that, but your whole Cinderace it isn't very convincing coming to the tail end of a tearful confection. Do you think I've forgotten the things you said? It was quite illuminating. <sighs> you pouts. I can't believe I said all that. Kind of, but yeah, but I don't mind. 
I'm gonna be in love by such a pretty girl. What? <laughs> uh, AU's eyes widen in <sighs> comic proportions. Now you're just making assumptions. I said I loved you. You did. Though, not in quite meant so many words. I have to read between the lines. But don't worry, I won't reject you. I literally never said that. I guess I love you a whole lot, maybe. But not the same as love. Don't get a swollen head. I don't lay awake at night thinking of you, and I certainly don't adore you. I adore you too. No, I never. Oh, I to counter, but I cut her off. <laughs> she keeps trying. I lean in once more. Tipping her chin up and pressing my lips to hers in a passionate kiss. A protest muffled by the mouth soon translates inside the mouth. I can say you more forcefully this time. Such a thing is possible. I pulled her as close as possible for us. My fingers run through her hair, down to her spine, to the small of her back. I wanted to kiss her on every si sorry. I wanted to kiss every single one of these tears away and a lie her words. I may have neglected her in the past in my carelessness, but I won't make that mistake again. I care for her deep, ridiculous though, can be, and I want her to know it. I'm imprinting my feelings onto every inch of her bare skin, and then perhaps. She'll finally be able to accept my heartfelt apology. Well, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to do the channel. It's been Zed, guys. Later. Bye.